What up, what up, Winbush here. And today I wanna to show you guys how you can get started making a simple PBR material inside of UEFN. So to get started, I'm gonna to go to one of my favorite sites, it's just polyhaven.com. Here you can download a lot of free assets like materials, HDR files, models, etc. So to get started, I'm actually gonna come over here to where it says assets, and I'm gonna come down here to textures. Now let's try to find the texture that we might wanna use for the scenario. So let's just randomly pick something out, maybe this wood floor right here. So if I left click on this, now you can see in the top right hand corner, we have some options here. So right here where you actually see the blender icon, I'm going to left click on this. And I'm just going to come down here to zip. And this is going to give us some options that we could click off and on. So right here, I don't need a blender file. I don't need a GLTF. I do want ambient occlusion. I'm just going to do a JPEG. I'm just going to do a PNG for these to turn off the JPEGs. Same thing with diffusion. Displacement, I really don't need that. Normal map. I'm just going to do PNG and then we can also use a roughness map as well. So once you have all the materials that you're happy with, all you have to do is come up here to download. But before we do this, you want to make sure instead of 4K, we're downloading 2K. Now, the reason I'm using a 2K material is because for UEFN and be able to run Fortnite efficiently, it suggests that you use a 2K material. In fact, if you use anything over that, it's not going to launch your game at all. So make sure your materials are at 2048 by 2048 at the most. So now that I have it at 2K, I'm going to click on download and wait for this to download. And once you're done downloading, it will give you a zip file, which you see here. So I'm just going to come over here, right click, extract all. I'm currently using Windows 11, so this is all built in. Hit extract, and then we'll make a new folder for us. So now if I double click on this and then look at my textures folder, now we have everything that we have selected there. So I'm actually going to make this a little bit smaller so that we can actually see that we have Fortnite UEFN here in the background. And so down here in my content browser, I'm just going to actually select all of these, click and drag them down here into my content browser. And now with that down there, I can actually exit this out. And if you don't see your content browser down there, like if you're new to Fortnite Creative, all you have to do is come down here to where it says content drawer. And this is actually going to slide it up. But what I like to do is come over here to where it says dock and layout. If you do that, then it's always going to show up here. That's just the way I like to work. But moving on, if I right click down here, I'm going to come right here to where it says material. And I'm just going to make this one. I'm going to name it floor. And now I'm going to double click on it. And then put it into my second window. But if I bring it back over here, just scroll out a little bit here on my mouse so we can actually pull this up. So right click to pull up, scroll in with my mouse. And that way I can see our attributes panel right here. Now, what we want to do from here is actually take all these textures that we had downloaded, which will be our ambient occlusion, our diffuse map, our normal map, and a roughness map. I'm just going to select these like so and drag them in. I'm not 100% sure what this one does right here. This is arm, so I'm just going to leave this one. We don't really need it. And I'm just going to enlarge my texture menu right here, and I'm going to drag these over. And from here, it's kind of just plug and play, right? So. I'm going to start with my top one right here, which this is my diffuse. If you come over here, you can see what material it's using. This is my diffuse map. And if I come right here, the where it says RGB, select right here where it says base color. Now you can see our material starting to come through. So this is going to be our color map. And then this one right here, this is going to be a roughness map. So we're just going to left click right here where it says RGB, come right here to roughness. And now we have that selected inside of there. And I'm going to show you a trick that we could use with this as well later on. But right now, I'm going to come right here to where we have our normal map, RGB, select normal. There we go. So now you can see it's starting to get indented a little bit there. And if I want to change it out to maybe like a cube so we can see it a little bit better. There we go. So now we have our cube in here. We're starting to see everything come together. And my last one right here, which would be AO, that stands for ambient occlusion, right here where it says RGB, left click. Drag it over here to where it says ambient occlusion. And there we go. So now we have some ambient occlusion, which will give us a little bit more shadow here. That's going to be all baked in there. And you can see that our floor is a little bit shiny here. And so if we wanted to, if we hold the number one key on our keyboard and left click, that's going to bring up our value right here, in which on the left hand side, we can actually use this value to dial some stuff in. So I'm going to put this value under my specular map. So if I select that, now you can see if I make this value like one, it's going to make it a little bit more dull. And if I bring it down to zero, it's going to shiny it up a little bit. This isn't probably a good example texture to show it on, but if you mess around with your speckler and your roughness, so if I come back here with roughness, 
and I hold down the one on my keyboard, left click, that's gonna bring up another value here. And then let me actually make a multiplier, which if I hold down the M, left click, that's gonna bring up this multiplier. So if I bring my roughness into here and my new value node into here, and then I drag this into my roughness. Now we can start messing around with the roughness values here as well. So if I bring this up to one, let me actually delete this from specular so we can see a little bit better what's happening. Now you can see, you can actually see the glint here up top here. So once it's at zero, you're getting a little bit more shininess on there. Bring it up to one, it's gonna actually dull it out. And then that's when you can come in and play with your specular. So again, hold down one, left click to bring in the value here, bring it under specular. Then you could just maybe bring this up to one, bring the roughness one, maybe up to like 0.5, somewhere around there. And you'll just play around with these until you find something suitable. It'd probably be better on a sphere here. We can actually see a little bit better what's happening here. So come back here to my specular, zero it out. Now you can see that we have no specular on there at all. Bring it up to like 0.3. Now we're starting to get a little bit more in here and mess around with the roughness. Maybe bring this up to one. You can see it's starting to dull it out a little bit. Zero, we're starting to get a little bit more shininess in here. So again, play with these values until you find something that suffice for you. But once you're happy with it, you just come over here, save it, and then I can exit this out. And now you see that we have our material right here in which now we could just come through, drag and drop onto the floor here. And now we actually just swapped out our material. So that's the easy way that we could go through and make a PBR material to use within UEFN. So hopefully this helped you guys out, especially to everybody that's new to the Unreal Engine ecosystem. And if you are new, I do have on my other channel a complete series called Unreal Engine 5 in 5 Days, in which I take you step by step on how to learn Unreal Engine 5, in which a lot of those lessons are going to be suffice for everything here at UAFN. So if there's anything you want to know, like animation or advanced textures or anything of that nature, and you're brand new, make sure you go check that out on my other channel. I'll link it down below, and also you can click around here to see where it's at as well and until next time stay fresh keep creating keep building and i see you in the next video i'll see you soon take care